I thought when this would happen, I would say, oh, triumphant, great, and let me tell some of you off who got in the way in the early days, and, and it's just I have a feeling of great peace and happiness, and, and if, if, if they'll forgive me my mistakes, I'll forgive them theirs. <laughs> you took a collection of actors who weren't really household names at the time, and turned them into legends, really. Can you, can you recall thinking... 20 years ago, some of the principles, um, what your thoughts were about those people, those individuals, and why they were placed? I wanted actors, and that's what I got. People who, who were good at what they did. I, uh, if we were going to make it, uh, we weren't going to make it with stars. We had to make it with people who could relate to different races and, and different civilizations and so on. And that's what we got, and, and it was the right way to go. Thank God. Were any of them known at all at that time? Bill uh, Shatner I'd seen in, on The World of Susie Wong on Broadway, and he, he was reasonably well known. The rest of them, uh, I, I, with the exception of Jimmy Doohan, which I'd always admired his work, I had worked with all of them, so they didn't have to be known. They, I'd seen them take uh, scripts I had written and make them better than they were. <laughs> Rewind for us 20 years ago. Most of the crew members, <laughs> right, <laughs> right, they wouldn't be here. Most of the cast members were unknown. We did know of you. Can you take us back to professionally what was happening for William Shatner then? I, um, story of my life, I had just finished a series uh, called For the People. Uh, it was on opposite Bonanza, which was very popular at the time. So it lasted. Um, it took us six months to shoot it, but it lasted 13 weeks. And I was in New York City, um, preparing to do a film, I think, and, and uh, uh, Gene Roddenberry called and said that he had a pilot. I'd met him someplace in Los Angeles, and he said he had a pilot that he had made that uh, NBC wanted to remake. Would I come and see it, take a look at the part that uh, another actor had played? And uh, so I did. I, I flew here specifically to see the, the pilot of the first Star Trek. I saw the pilot, and I recognized that it, the magic of it, and I saw what I thought were some things that could be helped a little, and Gene and I talked, and I signed on. If, if the captain was to enter this in the captain's log of this party tonight, what do you think the entry would be? The entry would be Star Date 1986. What will the future hold? Thank you so much. What would Spock say on this occasion? Well, I would say uh, this is a very logical uh, thing to be happening here. <laughs> uh, after all, uh, we all uh, we all banded together 20 years ago to uh, to do something very positive about the future, and and here we are in the future still doing it. It's a very logical idea, isn't it? Can you take us back 20 years ago and remember the actor that you were? And can you just sort of recreate that time emotionally for us? Well, I was an actor who'd been around town a long time, actually. I'm not terribly well known, but I had been acting in films and television for about 15 years when I was cast as Mr. Spock in Star Trek. Uh, I sensed that the stories were intelligent and meaningful. 
that the character had a, had a, uh, a dignity about him and, and uh, a complexity about him that was interesting. Human, really, in a way. A very human complexity. Uh, I suspected that there was a potential for the, for the future of this show. Uh, I don't think anybody really could have predicted. It would be fun to, to stand here tonight and say to you, I knew all along that this thing was going was to run for 20 years or more. I don't think anybody could really have predicted that. But I did have a sense that we were doing something that made sense. All, all I can say is that I'm very, very happy to be here tonight. I'm very proud to be connected with this phenomenon that has lasted so long. And uh, we have some very, very wonderful, positive things to happen in the future. We've got a great movie that's coming out late November, early December, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, which I'm sure that audiences will enjoy, and I'm very proud and pleased to be here. Thank you.